Hi all, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your daily vibes for Saturday, April 21st. This is for all signs. Daily energy. Keep in mind that this energy is fluid so this may have happened it may be happening today could be happening tomorrow could be happening next week this is what I'm picking up on today somebody's energy is coming through today okay somebody's working hard at something putting in a lot of effort very focused on what they're doing oh. you know it's this is very contradictory Okay, somebody's focused, but somebody's not, okay? So, I mean, this is complete focus on something. This is loss of focus, loss of concentration. This can also be manipulation and control. This could be a boss, okay? This could be a boss or a parent or a husband or I think it's a man who may be pushing you. They could be pushing you. Hmm. You know, when you get the emperor in reverse, there's, there could be some chaos or some even some anger. Maybe even jealousy. I'm not sure what this is, but we're going to get some more cards. But somebody's putting in a lot of effort and somebody's not helping. This may be overpowering, very bossy. You know, and it's making somebody feel empty. You know, I'm not sure. I'm I'm putting in all this effort, and I, it feels like I'm getting nowhere. Yeah, there's a lack of teamwork. There is. If somebody isn't putting... One person in a dynamic is doing all the work. The other one is manipulating the whole situation making the other person feel empty and lost. It's a control tactic. Some, there's, a, there's no working as a team. Somebody doesn't appreciate the efforts that the other person is putting in. Unwilling to cooperate. Hmm. <laughs> You know, and it feels like somebody's wasting their time or they're, or they're, you know, they're, they're, they're really trying to do the best they can, but whoever they're dealing with is refusing to give them any benefit of the doubt or to give them any kudos or any recognition. So I feel like somebody is considering turning their back on this situation because am I just wasting my time putting in all this effort when you can't even see it? Somebody is reevaluating their goals because they're dealing with another person who is Stubborn, hot-headed, controlling, manipulative, almost narcissistic. I mean, I hate to use the word, but almost abusive, you know, refuses to give any positive recognition, feedback, kudos, you know. Yeah, there's a lack of excitement here now. There's like, I... Why would I want to stay in a situation that promises no growth if you can't see my worth? There's no sense in me in me putting in effort even though somebody is, somebody's putting in effort where there's there's no excitement, there's no expansion because you're dealing with somebody who is very I can't think of the word. I can think of the word, but it's a very nice one. And some people won't like it. But you're dealing with a person that's not very nice. I 
And I think that you're being called to find the confidence and the strength and the courage and the discipline and the willpower. To perhaps end this commitment. That brings no growth. That brings no happiness. Somebody is totally manipulating another person. And that other person is working like a dog. To get recognition. Now this could be a job. This could be at home. This could be a child and a parent. Either way, somebody is really doing the best that they can. But whoever the boss is or the leader figure or the authoritative figure is a complete ass. And, you know, somebody could lose their temper. Maybe this person that you're dealing with is very temperamental and moody and you're, you just don't even know what to do. You got, they got you walking on eggshells. You know, and I think for some of you, you're thinking about letting this go because, you know, I can't stay in a situation where I'm not valued at all. So I feel like somebody is considering just letting it go. It's not about the security and the stability at this time, you know, it's about happiness. And I feel like you're dealing with a situation that is very... Um, unharmonious and unbalanced and you're dealing with a person who's temperamental, moody and controlling and manipulative and you may feel like you're wasting your time. I've put in so much effort and you're not, you don't even recognize what I'm doing. You don't even see. Yeah, I think that you're being tricked. You are. You're being lied to. You're dealing with a sneaky son of a gun who isn't putting in any effort, they're not working with you, they're not cooperating, they're not communicating well, and you're being called to find your inner strength to bail. I feel like some of you are wanting more, you're sick of being treated unfairly. You know, you've been treated unfairly and you're sick of it, and it's time to Stand up for yourself. It's time to stand firm and strong. Because you deserve more and you want more. Whatever's going on here, somebody has been treated very unfairly and the other person doesn't want to be held accountable for any of it. There's also some dishonesty here. So, I mean, there could be a narcissist in the mix that doesn't want to acknowledge anybody's efforts no matter what you do you can't win in this situation so somebody is absolutely being called to find their strength their their power to take back their power from this person who is a complete ass Oh, nine eleven emergency emergency. That's what it was. <laughs> when I looked at it. It was nine eleven emergency. It is a freaking emergency. You're dealing with somebody who refuses to see all the work that you've put in, all the work that you're doing, the efforts that you've made. No matter what you do, okay? This will not resonate with everybody. It will resonate with whoever it's meant to resonate with. Somebody is being called to find their strength, and that is no joke, okay? Now, you're going to have to dig deep to find the confidence and the courage to do what's right for you. To be your own boss. To take the lead in your own life. To stand up for yourself. You are going to have to find the strength to do that. <laughs> and 
Inspire passion. Life devoid of passion can be a boring, uninspired blank canvas that slowly drains the soul. Now is the time to reignite your passions and rejoin life. This is an opportunity to set new goals, which will in turn reconnect you with all that is sacred. It's time to find your passion again. And if you're dealing with a situation where it is very much less than passionate, it is absolutely time for you to find your strength and stand up for yourself. You are being drained by this ass, excuse my language, who doesn't see your worth. And that's what I have for today. So if you would like a quick reading, you can go to my Instago, which the link will be right below. $10 for about, you know, however long it takes for me to answer your question. And I will send you a picture of the spread unless for some reason the darn thing sends before I can send the picture, which happened to be last night. But if you'd like a quick, quick read, um, go ahead and go to my Instago. Um, stand up for yourself. That's my message for today. Don't let yourself be manipula manipulated and controlled by this person who is a complete you-know-what. Talk to you later. They are dulling your shine. They're stealing your passion. They're stealing your energy.